The world is a book, and those who do not travel only read one page. My destination is Sandaka, a quaint little town in Sabah that promises beautiful sights, amazing food, heartwarming stories, and overall, an enriching experience. I came here to connect with nature, and my first stop is a place that was established to protect one of the most precious creatures on this planet. It's a beautiful morning here at the Sepulok Forest Edge Resort, and just around the corner, we're going to see the Sun Bear Conservation. Sun's up, bear's out. So we're here at the Sun Bear Conservation Center, and I was told there's about 44 sun bears in rehabilitation, and they've been rescued from all over Sabah. And now we're going to talk to Dr. Wong, who's founded this amazing establishment. Not all bears that we rescue are releasable, so we have to be very selective. We see, you know, they have the capability of survive in the wild. If they can live up to like 13, 14 or 15 years, that is considered as old. What have you seen change since you started this conservation center? So the first thing is that there's no more people keeping sun bear as pets here in Sabah. And of course, you know, if not the center, all of these bear, you're looking, looking in their face, looking in their eyes, you know, they all will be like stuck in small cages uh, for the rest of their life. I personally have seen so many of these bears that was kept in small little cages and it's absolutely heartbroken. Rainforest is not a word. It's not something that you read from books or you see from, you know, Discovery Channel or National Geographic. It is in our back yet and you have to come and feel it while we still can. Then you realize that how special in this is this forest and how important is this for it? Then together we can take a little bit actions from our daily life and make a difference. The Sun Bear Conservation Center is absolutely stunning. You see these bears just strolling around in their own habitat and to be so up close and personal with them. I've never experienced anything like this before and I think everybody should come here and check this out. I mean, look at that. It's great to know that Sun Bears in Sabah are in good hands. My journey definitely started on a high, and after a quick little walk around town, I want to grab some of that famous Sandakan seafood. And what better place to start than Kampung Sin Sin? Now this is one of the first water villages built in the 1870s, populated by the Chinese from the Guangdong province. The seafood cannot get any fresher. And as you walk, you're going to smell the aromas of salted fish, which was a huge export of this town. And it's not just in Sim Sim. Sandakan is brimming with seafood everywhere you turn. And if seafood is not what you're after, there's some great alternatives too. From delicious nasi karabu to delightful pastries, you'll definitely satisfy your gastronomic cravings here. My next stop proves that while humans have failed to preserve Mother Nature, we're doing all we can to conserve what we have left, especially one of our closest relatives. Orangutan is critically endangered. In Sabah, they are considered totally protected animals. So it is important to preserve and conserve the species as they are parts of the animals that balance the ecosystem. They disperse the seed, they uh, make the tree species growing healthy. These trees are actually important for the other spectacular species such as elephants, tigers. So, if there are no orangutan, there are no man seed disperser in the forest, what about the other animals? They don't have home. Our short-term goal is to have a very progressive run, uh, orangutan rehab program. As for our long-term goal, we want to establish this centre as a world-renowned orangutan centre. To you guys out there, to the public, I hope you guys can come and visit us at the Spilok Orangutan Rehab Centre. Not just to see the orangutan, but learn about them and bring back the important message why we should conserve them why the rehabilitation program is important for them. We want the next generation to live better. We want the next generation to know about our wildlife, especially orangutan. The efforts by Dr. Nabila and her team cannot be commended enough. And I'm glad to know that there's still hope for this majestic species. Ending the night with a delicious dinner and some drinks, I can't help but reflect on how much us humans have an impact on nature. We're not the first here but we have to do what we can to make things last. And judging from what I've seen in Sandakan so far, I for one am glad to know that we're on the right track. But my journey hasn't ended. I'm off to visit a piece of paradise in Malaysia's backyard. You can get there by boat, but today I'm taking to the sky. Seeing Sandakan from the helicopter as we headed towards my next destination was something else. 
And as we got closer, and the water's turning from deep blue to a clear turquoise, I knew this next place was special. We've just arrived here on Langkayan Island at the Langkayan Island Dive Resort. And they specialize in the preservation of marine wildlife, especially sea turtles. Guys, look at this place. It's so beautiful. This slice of paradise is part of the Sugud Islands Marine Conservation Area and is a key nesting spot for green and hawksbill sea turtles. I can't wait to find out more about them, but before that, I'm gonna get my feet wet. Langkayan Island is truly a paradise and the waters are so spectacular. There's no way you can come here and not take a closer look. So today, I'm going diving. After a quick lesson by our amazing dive instructor, I was ready for my first ever dive. And what an experience it was. Being underwater is surreal, like being on another planet. It's like flying without the fear of falling. And because of that, you're able to marvel at the spectacular seascape of underwater flora and fauna. It's an experience everyone should have. Being in the water was eye-opening, and I'm really glad I got to do it. The waters here are nothing short of amazing, and I decided to wind down the day with some me time out in the open sea. I thought this was perfect, but the best part of my trip was yet to come. This is the most exciting moment. This is so amazing. I've never seen anything like this. This is Nest 492, and they're expecting about 40 turtles to come out of it. 53. 53? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yes. So that means we've got a few a, more. A good one, yeah, a good, oh, a good a percentage. Good one. So you're yeah, always see? aiming for 80% or more. Well, we have an average like that. I see. So this is considering a good a good hatching rate. So let's go to the beach and release them. I feel so grateful to be able to witness this and see the fruits of the doctor's labor. When she started in 2004, there's only 100 nests and now it's about 790 so it's just I'm just in awe of the impact and it's just so sad to hear that you know one out of every thousand of these baby turtles actually make it so we're gonna root for these turtles and hope one of them makes it I wish all of you the best and I hope no sharks bite you <laughs> Go! this was amazing the feeling's indescribable. Watching the turtles hatch and releasing them into water, knowing that only a small percentage of them will survive is truly a humbling experience. I'm extremely grateful to have been here and it's made me appreciate life so much more. My trip to Sandakan ends here at Langkayan Island and I'm truly ending this on a high. From watching sea turtles hatch to going on my first ever dive and kayaking in the open sea, I mean, life can't get any better than this. And we're so lucky to have this in our own backyard. And I'm definitely coming back. Life will always find a way, but it's up to us to help it move along. The efforts of all these people cannot go unappreciated. And I'm truly blessed to have witnessed all of this on my trip. Ecotourism is a step in the right direction in conserving our planet. And I'm proud to know that we're playing our parts. While there's life, there's still hope. Thank you, Sandakan. You have been truly wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>